Welcome back guys to another very exciting video here. Now today we have another a very interesting random app stuck inside of Maya and this time we are going to be creating a hollow tourist kind of effect inside of Maya. And the way we are going to be doing this is we are going to take a simple tourist and we are going to clone another tourist on top of it and just hide the main tourist. So this will just kind of give us the hollow effect. So let's get into it. Let's take a simple torus here and uh, I'm just going to increase the overall radius to maybe 2 and section radius to maybe 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 maybe. Alright this looks good. Let's increase the overall segments here on this. So 60 and 60 will be good enough for this and this looks pretty good and just rotate this here to maybe something like this just so we have some interesting looking overall effect to maybe something like this just scale this a bit. Alright, so this looks pretty good, uh, the overall and I'm just going to duplicate this one more time, Control D and I'll, if I go to my outline, as you can see, I have two torus here with the same size. So I can select the torus too and I can just scale this down, alright, or you can also do one thing, you can select the torus 1 and you can just decrease the section radius to maybe like 0.5. Now if I show you my x-ray mode, as you can see, we have the overall inside torus on the outside torus so what you you can do is you can maybe turn down the size to maybe like 0.3 alright this looks good and uh, we can select this one and we can call this inside T and we can call this outside alright so this will just make everything pretty easy to see and work with Alright, so we are done with this. I'm going to select my inside torus and just add it to a new layer and hide this for now. And let's turn off the x-ray. So the next thing I'm going to do is create another torus here. And I'm going to decrease the radius to maybe 0.1 and section radius to 0.01. Alright, so as you can see we have a simple, maybe add 0.2 here, 0.03. And I think this looks pretty good. And maybe make this to something like 30 and 30. Or I think the 20 will be good enough since we are going to be making them smoother at the end of this video. So let's go to the mash network, let's mash this. And from here you can, I think we have to rotate this on the other side but that's okay. You can select this mash here and the first thing you can do is go to your mash repro and use click on use GPU. This will just make your process even faster. And in the distribute I'm going to say I want it to be cloned upon a mesh. Alright, so I can select my outside mesh and drop it on my input mesh. So middle mouse click on your outside mesh and drop it on your input mesh. Alright, so we have some clones here. What I can do is increase the number of toruses here. And what you can do is go to the mesh network, take an offset node and just go in the negative value of scale. Maybe like add a 0.6, minus 0.6 and I'll do the same with the overall. And I think this small torus looks pretty good. This is kind of giving us an amazing effect. And what you can do is take another node, a random node, and as you can see it completely distorts everything and the reason is because by default random node distorts the positions. So I'm going to reduce this and change the scale value to maybe 1. Alright, so as you can see we have something like this. The distortion is real now. So if I turn this off random, you, you have literally no distortion whatever because everything is completely uniform and since we add a random node you get this deform looking torus here which is pretty interesting but if you click on the uniform scale this will just fix everything all right so i think this overall looks pretty good so what you can do is you can increase the number of clones you have right now um i can go to my distribute and maybe make this somewhere like 300 all right maybe i think we should go for 500 all right so this looks pretty good. Now I'm going to select my main torus here, the outside torus and you can go to simple outside shape and you can turn off the visibility from object display. So you have something like this and from my layer menu I'm going to turn my inside torus on and I'm going to select this. Maybe I think that is too thin for this. So I'm going to make this like 0.4 maybe and this looks pretty good now. Alright, so we have something like this. I'm going to press 3 on this and same on this as well. It will ask you that the mesh is too dense for this. So if you, you really want to smooth this, this will just slow down your system. So hit no and since you have this warning, what you can do is simply go to the attributes, go to the shape, go to Arnold and check on the subdivision catacloud and the iteration will be set to 1. I think the 1 is good enough for the overall smoothness on this because the overall dense denseness on this mesh is not too high. 
all right so let's create some camera here and uh, i'm going to rotate my camera here and let's move this back all right and um, let's go to the camera okay turn on your film gate just so we have a perfect display going on and let's move this okay i think this looks pretty good let's lock your camera all right so we are in the perspective mode now and from here we will just kind of add some randomized stuff that will just help us to complete the overall scene here so what you can do is you can take some randomized primitives here or shapes here and you can just play around with the overall effect of mashing it again and again and just creating some randomized stuff so i'm going to do the same with this i will take maybe another torus here and uh, i will mash it and go to the attributes distribute to maybe grid and let me just use my gpu and let's make this two and two all right so we i just have four torus here let's add another random node and uh, from the random node i'm just going to distort the position here and some rotation as well all right so let's see if it's inside of our camera region so somewhere right about there and this looks pretty good and so if you don't like the overall effect on this you can simply change around the seats to get the desired look you want i think this looks pretty good as well and uh, just play around with this i think i will go for something else maybe like this one and uh, from here you can do the same with other primitives as well so you can take a simple cone here and uh, i will bring this out and maybe change the overall segments here to maybe four just so we have something like this and i'm just going to make this like a pyramid let's match this and you repeat the same process over and over again just so you create some random stuff here so i'm going to take another distribute let's turn this to grid make this two and two let's use your gpu go to mash and take another random node and um, just play around with this so change the overall scales here go to your camera here and uh, just play around with the seeds so i think the overall scale on this is too much so i think i'm going to go to my cone here and just scale this down okay i think that is good enough so we have a decent looking scene and i think i'm going to distort this on the y too much okay so we have something like this now now i think i'm going to take one more primitive that will be a simple sphere just to complete the overall scene here and uh, let's select the sphere repeat the same process okay so as you can see this is what our scene looks like now so let's play around with the overall um, backdrop we have to create some backdrop for this so let's take a simple plane here let's bring this down let's bring this to something like this or you can just create a simple flat um, bg you can simply take a simple background by just moving this here and just rotating this to somewhere about 90 degrees and i'm just going to reduce the subdivision on this since we don't need any subdivision on our plane and i think this looks good enough for the overall design and let's keep it to that all right so we have something like this now we are done with the overall designing part over here let's get into the overall lighting and shading so i'm first off i'm going to shade my backdrop here i'm going to select this go to ai stand surface and let's call this bg all right you can uh, choose any color you want i'm going to go for something like this maybe and increase the amount of roughness to 0.5 all right, this looks pretty good and to start off with i'm just going to take a simple area light here and uh, let me just get into my perspective view here this is my area light and i think i'm going to move this right about here and make sure it's a perfect minus 180 degrees and just uh, rotate this and uh, maybe i'll go for something like maybe this and let's scale this up let's bring this 
right about there and I think it looks pretty good now and I'll do the same I'm duplicating this light again and I will just switch the overall sides here I'm going to hit positive 9 on this and the rotation will be on the positive direction as well so I have something like this this will act as my back backlight here so I'm just going to move this to somewhere like here and again I'm going to duplicate this move this here and scale this right about there all right this looks pretty good so go to the outliner and I'm going to select my light here first and let's call this key and let's call this back let's call this fill all right and let's turn on your overall IPR here turn this on all right so our IPR is running I'm going to select my light here and go to attributes and select the exposure of 4 let's get into the shape here let me just move this here okay so I'm going to select my light and just make the exposure bright enough so maybe 10 okay I'm going to select this one and maybe add 6 here and the backlight will be somewhere about 6 as well all right so we have something like this scene and I think I'm going to increase the overall intensity on this one to maybe 11 so we have something like this and I think uh, I will go for maybe 10.5 the 11 is too much but we'll see at the end of this so I'm going to select my uh, Taurus here and again and I'm going to hit 3 on my keyboard and I've already pressed 3 just to make them smoother but as you can see we have since selected Cataclark this looks pretty smooth on the overall render so I think this looks pretty good let's get into the shading overall so I'm going to select the inside Taurus here and uh, maybe select the backdrop and just change the overall roughness maybe 0.4 alright Let's select the inside torus here. Let's add a new material. Let's sand surface and let's call this inside. And from here, just uh, get into the overall rough and look. If you want, you can also go for something like a plastic here. If you are into that kind of look and just tweak around with the overall colors and just maybe try to add some randomized color here to something like this. And playing about color is all about like totally going with the color theory here what color goes with what color and just try to create some randomize here okay so this is what I have here a simple colors here simple formation here and this is overall material nothing special here no coat at all no subsurface scattering no transformation just some roughness value and the color value and that's it so this is what I've come up with you can use this color if you want and you can change around and mess around with the roughness value as well and if you think the overall light intensity is too much i think i'm going to reduce this to maybe like 10 or something like this i'm going to select the fill light and maybe add some 7 here and maybe add a more highlights into the backlight so you can see the overall the light wrapping here this looks pretty good and this is what we have so i hope you like the overall concept here and you can create some amazing looking effect on your own so this was just a simple concept regarding the overall hollow effect how you can clone a simple object onto the other object and just use it as a kind of a making an object hollow and just using it to deform everything so this is another interesting idea use it play with it and kind of go along with it if you try to create something out of it if you create something out of it let me know show me on your on my instagram send me on instagram i love to see all your work and apart from that if you have any question regarding this effect feel free to ask me I'll be happy to answer. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.